A nice pat on the back for that one.
wanna go take some pictures? Looking for a ticket? Wanna go take some pictures? and have a look.
Come around and have a look. Truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! My turn. Let's make it quick. You couldn't have done it without me. Fighting is meaningless. Let's go. Broken. You couldn't have done it without me.
Too late to repent. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Tough luck running into me. Let's make it quick. Let me tend your wounds. Fighting is meaningless. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken.
wanna go take some pictures? You came at a good time. <laughs> there is something you can help me with. According to my patient records, there are a few that haven't come for their follow-up visits. It happens from time to time, but never as regularly as this. <sighs> I'm a bit concerned. Have you heard of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society? <laughs> I agree. Generally speaking, mutual aid societies like these allow patients to share their experiences and support each other. It's a way of countering all the negative emotional effects of being ill. But there might be more to this society than that. I've got a few patients who have started refusing treatment since joining the society. It certainly makes you wonder. And the most suspicious part is that no matter how much I ask, no one's ever willing to tell me anything about it. And that's where you might be able to help. <laughs> it sounds dangerous, but what I want you to do is actually very simple. Investigate this so-called mutual aid society and find out what exactly they're up to. If I find out they're preventing me from doing my job, or if they're bringing harm to my patients, I won't just sit on the sidelines. Can I entrust you with this task? This little clinic has huge numbers of patients to deal with every day. If I didn't have you here to help me out, I wouldn't be able to focus on giving them quality care. Good luck. I'll be sure to thank you properly when you're back. I've seen you in the clinic. You run errands for Natasha, right? Your cover? What are you talking about? Let me guess. Natasha wants you to persuade me to go back for a follow-up visit, right? What's the use? I'm terminal. Life will be over before I know it. Of course not. I read it in a book. Every book I read has descriptions that match my symptoms exactly. I can diagnose myself with a dozen incurable diseases before I get halfway through. For people in my situation, a follow-up visit is just a waste of time and money. Not to mention medicine. What else is there to say? Natasha was seeing me free of charge. She said I could keep a tab running for as long as I liked, then pay it back when I had the opportunity. I guess I'm too proud. You think I need you to tell me? Don't try and persuade me. I've already thought this through. <sighs> Dr. Vash never charged me anything either. Natasha's great, but Vash was always my number one. Natasha's brother. They both used to practice medicine back in Rivettown. I heard he was a top student from the Overworld Medical Academy. Bellabog's main hospital wanted him. I have no idea what convinced him to set up down here. But kind heart, maybe. What do you mean? Dr. Vash was a people's doctor. He handed out free medicine. He even followed up with detailed questions on how he felt. The underworld is always short of medical resources. They say that Dr. Vash made all his own medicine himself. You think I don't want to? I heard that he passed away. 
I should keep my voice down. Don't go telling anyone else about this next bit. I heard that Natasha had something to do with Dr. Vash's death. They say she was jealous that her brother had stolen her patience, so she... It's just something people were saying. I don't think Dr. Natasha could do something like that. Forget I said anything. Since Dr. Natasha sent you over specially, I'll do her a favor. I'll go to the clinic for my follow-up a little later. Bye for now. Avoiding a follow-up visit due to money issues. I should find another patient to talk to. What was that? Oh, you'll have to be louder. My ears aren't what they used to be. Everything's muffled. Ah! A follow-up visit. Is that what you're asking about? Natasha's a, a wonderful girl. She always gives me a thorough checkup. But at this age, it's rather a lot to bear. Even if they could cure me, I'm sure I wouldn't be around for long. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Not for youngsters like yourself. When you get to my time of life, good health is a bit of a luxury, I'm afraid. My husband had the same illness as me, but he never touched the medicine. <laughs> he wanted to make sure I had enough. Then, one day, he said he needed to take care of some things at the mine. He never came back. He was forever saying he wanted to go before I did. Ah, <laughs> oh, selfish old fool. I miss him. Now that he's gone, who cares how long I stick around? You're not wrong, I suppose. That girl certainly spares me no effort. But I always feel like I'm a burden to her. Okay, you win. It's off for another follow-up visit with Dr. Natasha, I suppose. Hmm? Did you want to say something else? My ears are terrible. Virtual who? All right! I heard you. Do you have to shout? No, I've never heard of any mutual aid society. Avoiding a follow-up visit due to her husband. I should find another patient to talk to.
Why haven't I gone for my follow-up visit? Are you a patient too, or did Dr. Natasha send you over? <laughs> you should head on back then. Thank Dr. Natasha for her concern. I don't need Dr. Natasha's help now. Tell her to save her worries in medicine for other people. Dispute. No, no. She's the only kind-hearted doctor in the underworld. I just don't really approve of her methods, that's all. Too idealistic and no real efficacy. She tries to save everyone, which means she can't save anyone. In the end, it's the patients who suffer, and she just tires herself out. Miners like me don't have time for lengthy treatments. If I can't take something and get right back to work, I may as well lie down and wait for death to come knocking. Did you, uh, know Dr. Vash? His wonder medicine is cheap, and the results are immediate. You just need to uh, be willing to uh, take a little risk. Dr. Vash's medicine is different. Lots of people make a full recovery after taking it, but some get worse, and the unlucky ones check out early. Even knowing the risk, most people fight tooth and nail to get hold of the medicine. You know why. Hmm. You're smarter than you look. When life forces you to the edge, you'll throw yourself at any opportunity, even if it means risking it all. For people like us, a slow and torturous treatment is the same as a death sentence. If it's between that and a quick result, we'll take the latter. <clears throat> Forget it. Why am I telling you all this? Dr. Vash is dead anyway. <laughs> what? Now you're interested in the wonder medicine? Listen up. The Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society is still selling that medicine. I can tell you where they trade, but there's a rule. You must not tell any of this to Dr. Natasha, you hear? If you break the rule, You'll face the consequences. Yeah, take this. It's the address. Final warning. Do not reveal this information to Natasha. I know where to find the wonder medicine. What should I do next? That patient didn't want me to tell Natasha about this. Should I listen to him? Where do you think you're going? Medicine, oh. You mean Dr. Vash's wonder medicine, right? You're the same as everyone else that comes through here. If you want medicine, you don't need to go any further. You talk to me. And we only take cash. This ain't a charity. Well, the Mutual Aid Society sets the price. It might be different from Dr. Vash and his handouts, but it's a darn sight cheaper than that clinic woman's medicine. Well, are you buying or not? Spit it out. I don't have time for chit-chat. Wait a minute. You're close. Are you friends with that doctor woman? I've seen you at the clinic before. I know it. Get lost. Now! If you're a friend of that woman, then you're not welcome here. God. Shop's closed today. No customers. W wait. What about our medicine? We've been waiting for ages. Get lost, all of you. Save your breath and come back some other time. That medicine seller sure shut up shop in a hurry. I should head back and report to Natasha. Wanna go take some pictures?
So the Mutual Aid Society found my... found Bash's research results. And now they're selling this so-called wonder medicine to patients? Any organization doing something like this is interested in more than just mutual aid. As a doctor, I don't accept that. I'm responsible for their well-being. My attitude towards this wonder medicine won't change. What Vash left behind is nothing more than reagents and experimental byproducts. The word medicine doesn't apply here. I warned the patients countless times, but it seems like they had their heads in the sand all along. <laughs> no wonder they kept the Mutual Aid Society a secret from me. I'm guessing the patients you met weren't exactly singing my praises, which is why you tracked the dealer down and made inquiries first. I don't blame you. After everything you heard, I'm grateful you came back to find me. Your trust is important to me. If you're curious about Vash's wonder medicine, you should ask some of the patients in the clinic. See what they have to say about the effects. Some people say that Dr. Vash was a saint who came from the overworld to help those in need. Eh, I don't buy it. People's doctor, that's just what people who've bought into the myth like to say. Vash used to distribute free medicine all the time, but um, he couldn't have cared less about the people taking the medicine. The hard truth is that we were just his test subjects. It didn't matter if the medicine worked or not. What mattered was having a constant stream of willing lab rats. Of course, I can't control what anyone else thinks. That's just how I see it. The medicine Vash left behind? <laughs> that stuff? Can you even call it medicine? I know Dr. Natasha's here, but I have to tell it like it is. Vash had zero medical ethics. He didn't deserve the title doctor. He may have had the capability, but he didn't use it to help anyone. Whenever I went to see him, he never even asked about my illness. He just prescribed me his so-called wonder medicine. If it were you, would you have taken that medicine? <sighs> I still haven't worked out how to convey it to you. The issues surrounding Vash. My relationship with him. The things he's done in the underworld. <sighs> it's a long story. I'm guessing you've heard a lot of different opinions on Vash. <laughs> what do you make of him? I want you to go and visit another patient, a victim of the wonder medicine. I want you to see the real consequences of abusing that medicine. Once you've understood her situation, come back and tell me what you think. After that, I want to ask for your help again. Come, 
over here, child. It's best to leave that poor lady in peace. Let me explain. That poor, poor lady, both her husband and child became ill and passed away. Yes, before her family passed away, she was a carefree young woman. Her husband and child caught a, a mysterious illness. The symptoms weren't grave, but their livelihood was certainly impacted. In order to try and rid themselves of the ailment once and for all, they bought some kind of wonder medicine. Who would have thought their condition would deteriorate so rapidly after they began using it? The two began to suffer terribly, such that death then became a blessing. It wasn't long before they departed this world, one after the other. From that moment on, oh, she became as you see her now. If Dr. Natasha hadn't taken her under her wing, it doesn't bear thinking about. And yet, what more could have been done? They were warned about the medicine. They were told about the risks. But they chose to roll the dice. Oh, talking about it tires me out. At least my husband and I are able to help her where we can. I just hope that one day she can lead a normal life again. Did you speak to her? By the look on your face. I'm assuming you've come to understand the wonder medicine all too well. <sighs> yeah. Be it Vash or the Mutual Aid Society, forces like that can take full advantage of the... the typical underworld state of mind. <sighs> Let me tell you a story. There was once a brilliant overworld doctor with unmatched pharmaceutical skill. The doctor was set on developing a medicine that would steal the human body against the cold. He named his research project Blizzard Immunity. But his research met with obstruction time and time again, the biggest factor being a lack of test subjects. Tampering with the human immune system carries huge risk, and nobody in the overworld was willing to submit themselves to such experiments. As such, the doctor got in touch with his sister in the underworld, claiming that he wanted to support the medical effort below ground. Naturally, his sister was overjoyed. After all, as far as medicine was concerned, her brother had always been the standard she'd strive to attain. She brought her brother underground and entrusted him with her clinic and laboratory. I think you know what comes next. Issuing free medicine to the needy was just Vash's way of conducting experiments on his test subjects. On some level, his reagents were able to alleviate the patient's suffering, but nothing more. They would forget their pain for a while and neglect their regular treatment plans. <laughs> the result? Patients with mild illness would attribute their recovery to the so-called wonder medicine, while patients with serious illness would quickly deteriorate and sometimes die. I cannot accept that their fate was simply the result of misfortune or risk. No true doctor would accept that. That's why I want you to help me recover all the wonder medicine. Are you willing to take on this assignment? Thank you. 
This will be hard for the people that have come to rely on the Wonder Medicine. But it's up to us to remove this false hope. You mustn't hesitate. Recover every last reagent that Vash left behind. I'll take responsibility for the consequences. Don't worry about that. Go. I'll be waiting for the good news. Right there. No one's allowed up ahead. Who are you trying to kid? You're that clinic woman's lackey. Did you think the Mutual Aid Society didn't have its own intel? She's after our medicine and sent you here to smash the place, right? Men, look lively and send this idiot packing already. You couldn't have done it without me. Well, look who we have here. Your reputation precedes you, outsider. I didn't take you for a bandit and a thief. You listen here. I'm the president of the Complex Illness Mutual Aid Society. The medicine we hold here is lifeblood for many of our members. Are you sure you want to deprive them of that? Those poor patients. Along comes a life-saving wonder medicine only to be snatched away by a shameless bandit like you. The underworld is full of sickness. What would happen if we left it all to that clinic to treat? My mutual aid society has relieved that doctor of patients at the end of the road. Shouldn't she be thanking me? Hmm. Seems like you are quite bent on dismantling our operations, aren't you? Fine, seeing as you came all this way, it'd be rude not to give you the opportunity. Men, seize the medicine thief! I have no interest in conflict. Watch this awesome move! Broken. Mm, blast it! What did we ever do to you? Why are you taking away our moneymaker? Moneymaker? So you admit it then. You're not in this to save lives, you're in it to get rich. What are you doing here? Oh, as if we didn't have enough trouble already. Selling fake medicine with false kindness. You should have expected trouble to find you sooner or later. I have a responsibility to protect the well-being of my patients. Or to put it another way, I must eradicate any and all threats to them. You... you can't save everyone. The underworld is teeming with sickness. How could you possibly pull it off? You're right. I can't save everyone alone. But if I must, I would sacrifice food and sleep to treat them. The debt that Vash owes to the Underworld rests with me. All I can do is help everyone to the best of my ability. To the very end. Ugh. Ugh, oh, so stubborn. In that sense, you're no different from your crazy brother. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Your actions today have saved many Underworld families.
I'll find a way to dispose of Vash's leftover reagents. Next time the Mutual Aid Society wants to whip up a quack cure, they'll be out of luck. <laughs> Let's go back to town. I still owe those patients an explanation. Looks like the patients have surrounded Natasha. Let's hear what they're saying. What are you saying, Doctor? The wonder medicine is out of supply? Correct. That medicine is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wildfire has cut off the supply chain. Your ailments need rational, scientific treatment. Relying on pseudo-medicines will only worsen your condition. Rational and scientific, huh? The way I see it, you're just jealous you lost your patience. Oh, how, how dare you speak to Dr. Natasha like that? Where are your manners? Ma'am, please think for a moment. How can you still be siding with her? That wonder medicine was working fine for us, and now it's gone because she wants it to be? How can she... I understand your anger, but as your doctor, I ask you to trust my judgment. I will find a way to access more medical resources and help you through your struggles. If I must, I'll get help from the surface. The surface? <laughs> I almost forgot that you were an overworld big shot. Have some respect for Dr. Natasha. <sighs> If it's respect she wants, she better find a replacement for the wonder medicine fast. If not, I'll tell everyone about how she set up Dr. Vash. I'm out of here. Oh, you're here. I apologize. That must have made for uncomfortable viewing. I'm okay. If I were in his shoes, I may well have had the same reaction. Now I need to focus on treating the patients and dispelling their doubts. Let's leave it for now. I'll feel a lot better once I've gotten rid of this mess that Vash left us. Now's as good a time as any to tell you Vash's whole story. If there's anything you want to know, don't hesitate to ask. No, but I used to think we were so close that we may as well have been. <laughs> I, uh, actually grew up in the orphanage. It wasn't until I was adopted by an overworld family that life changed for me. My adoptive mother always saw me as her own flesh and blood, <laughs> and Vash loved me like a sister. That is, while we were still young. <laughs> My adoptive parents belonged to a prominent medical family. As kids, we were exposed to all kinds of medical texts. When we were older, both of us got straight into Bellabog's medical school. We were on a path into the medical profession. He was... gentle and introverted. But when it came to work, he could be absurdly obsessive, like a completely different person. Whenever I made a mistake in an experiment, he'd bite my head off. And then a while later, he'd apologize and comfort me. He was conflicted in that way. I didn't know he had leftover reagents in Rivet Town. I was shocked when you told me. If you fail to make a clean break with the past, the past creeps up on you. <laughs> <sighs> That's a long story. 
Ever since he was little, Vash had always wanted to develop a medicine called blizzard immunity. He saw the human body's vulnerability to cold as a disease, and wanted to cure it so that humanity could survive the eternal freeze. If he succeeded, people would be able to leave Bellabog and rebuild their homes in the snow plains. To be honest, I never understood how he'd achieve that blizzard immunity. But I do admire that vision and perseverance. I always chose to believe him, ever since I was a kid. I knew his research in the overworld wasn't going well. I used to write to him and ask him to come down and stay with the kids in the orphanage for a while. I thought it might help take his mind off his research. But I was too young to know what long-term frustration could do to a person. It changed him. In a terrible way. During his stay in the underworld, he met patients affected by fragmentum corrosion with mild symptoms. Compared with non-patients, their bodies reacted differently to hot and cold. And that fascinated Vash. He began to simulate mild fragmentum corrosion, thinking that it could lead to breakthroughs in developing blizzard immunity. <laughs> Those reagents of his aren't cure-alls for critical illness. That doesn't exist. Vash made the reagents to mitigate the suffering of his patients in the short term. A convenient way for him to observe changes in his test subjects. But behind my back, he had been doling out the reagents to residents who were kept in the dark. When it finally struck me that something was wrong, his terrible research had already turned him into... into a madman. I trusted Vash with all my heart. Funny, isn't it? And pathetic. When his experiments were exposed, I spent a long time with Oleg discussing how to handle the aftermath. This was shortly before the underworld was sealed off. There were hardly any Silvermane guards remaining. We spent ages trying to find a way to handle Vash. In the end, Oleg suggested that we banish him and permanently deny him access to the Underworld. Had his victims found out the truth, Vash would have been torn to pieces by furious Underworlders. I was... young and weak at the time. Oleg must have worried about how I'd react to such a scenario, or he wouldn't have suggested banishment. Looking back, it wasn't. He deserved much worse. Oleg and I took Vash to the Overworld. He made his final request to us. To take him outside the city to the snow plains he'd always wanted to conquer. His figure gradually disappeared into the snow curtain. <laughs> I've been telling myself that Vash is dead ever since. Forgive me. I'm not good at telling stories. Vash was a terrible brother and a worse doctor. That's all you need to know. Let's call it a day. Thank you for cleaning up the mess my brother left behind. Here, for your trouble. <laughs>